So what you're looking at here is an Amazon Echo Dot and it's about the size of a hockey puck and it's plugged into um, some speakers here and some power and the way that this device works is that there is a trigger word which is the name of the device and then you talk to it so it is a speech um, based uh, user interface so I can do things like this Alexa what is the time the time is 2.08 p.m. Alexa what is the date Today is Tuesday, January 3rd. So uh, I got this over Christmas um, with some gift tokens I was given um, from Amazon. Um, and uh, we've been playing around with it, myself and my kids and, uh, uh, and the rest of my family. Uh, you can do all sorts of interesting things with it. For example, you can get it to check things on the internet, such as the weather. So, Alexa... What is the weather today for Toaster, Northamptonshire? Currently, in Toaster, it's five degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of five degrees and a low of three degrees. This is rather cool. Uh, you can also get it to play music as well. Um, music from my, my library. So, I don't know, let's try something. Um, Alexa, play me some Beethoven. Shuffling songs by Evelyn Dubois and Ludwig van Beethoven. <laughs> so that's Fur Elise. Uh, Alexa, stop. And obviously I can control the functionality of the device as well with my voice, as I just demonstrated. Um, and so being a software developer and having a holiday, uh, I wondered what I could do with this. And given that there's a developer API, um, and an API, uh, for those of you who aren't developers, is essentially a way in which you are able to use the services provided by various bits and bobs of technology. And in this case, it's the um, it's the voice uh, activated user interface that, uh, that I've just been talking to. Um, and Amazon provide an API to, to make use of this. And so I wondered, well, what could I do? And then I remembered that um, a few years ago, myself and Dan Pope and Hans Bolang had written a poem generator um, that uh, will, will create poetry on demand, computer generated poetry on demand. And I turned that into a special function that calls into the API uh, for the Echo Dot. And uh, you can actually ask it to compose a poem for you uh, and then recite it back to you. Uh, the thing is, is that you need to be able to call this service a name. So I've called uh, the poetry writing service uh, Milton. Um, so uh, without further ado, uh, here's, here's how it works. Alexa, ask Milton to compose me a poem. Here is a poem for you. All ye that sleep on beds at night in houses dry and warm, whom seating on their stools beside her on the platform, and the loud lab around the flay soon stops, or plainly there to the left on the hill tops. I looked amid the ruthless storm, when hailstones have been falling, swarm on swarm. <laughs> OK, that's not so bad. Um, it, it, those of you who with, with good poetic ears will know that uh, this is an A-A-B-B-A-A -A -A, uh, simple form um, of uh, three rhyming couplets. Um, and each time you ask for a poem, it, cre it creates a brand new poem for you. So uh, let's try again um, just to make sure. Alexa, ask Milton to compose a poem. Here is a poem for you. Panting, but past the danger, now I ceased. Listens well pleased. Travelling souls, and barks and snaps and drives them in the holes. The craggy cliffs, and mightied members eased. And patience unto all that are displeased. Um, so that's it. Uh, finally, I've always wanted to be able to do this. Um, Alexa, open the pod bay doors. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm not Hal and we're not in space. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so essentially, it's incredibly simple uh, to create 
a voice activated user interface using um, the APIs that Amazon provide uh, for you to do this. Uh, they're not the only company that do this, uh, but it's been a lot of fun. And it took me, I don't know, maybe an afternoon to get this working. Uh, lots and lots of fun. There you go.